So like Meineke and George Foreman, I can guarantee that your agency is losing out on thousands of dollars per day by doing traditional outreach methods. And this is my bold promise to you. By the three minute mark, you'll be fully convinced that automated outreach tools for cold email, cold DMs and cold calling are the devil and you're losing thousands of dollars every single week. I promise you that. By the five minute mark, you'll have two different ways to do outreach that actually encourages and attracts the potential clients slash partners to come to you with their wallets already open. We call them partners because we don't just uh, confine them to uh, uh, retainers, okay? Now, by the end of this video, you'll already have uh, uh, you know, the ability to be headed to Instagram and Google to begin receiving these inbound high paying business partners to your inbox. OK, so that's my bold promise. All right. So these are two things you're going to master by the end of this video, how to cut and burn every single subscription you have for cold outreach tools due to the negative perception of you it creates in the minds of your prospects. So also included are examples of this exact thing in this video, I promise that, okay? Now, the number two thing you'll master is how to implement both the red carpet and the expose methods to make your offers so visible and irresistible that your high paying partners come begging to work with you. So stay tuned for these examples as well, okay? So now, before we move to the next step, um, you need to be confident that I can help you, okay? That this is just not some YouTube video and all of that extra bull crap. So Kim, within 24 hours, was making thousands of dollars using strategies that I teach in my programs. And then if we stroll down, we have another longtime student that's making uh, probably close to six figures by now with his construction site. It costs along the lines of $10,000 per month. That's without him doing anything with it. But he also gets deals from it as well, profit share and all of that. So that's why I said it can get into the six figures, okay? So now, uh, then we have TT, which got uh, results in less than an hour the same day that she signed up. So when people ask me, how long is this going to take to work? What do you what do you do? How long does it take to implement? Is it rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> or is it like guaranteed that it's going to work? Guys, just pay attention to the stories. But then you want to stop watching testimonials and become one. OK. All right. So uh, first, let's address the three dangers of using these code outreach tools. OK, so number one, the first issue is that it makes you look just like everyone else sending out cold emails, cold DMs, and cold calls. Now, I don't think you get how like dangerous that is, okay, and how damaging that is for you in the long run. You become a common commodity in the mind of the prospect that can be easily replaced. That's the point. You become a clone. All right, everybody's a commodity that has a service or a product. You want to be a rare commodity, not a common commodity. You don't want to be replaceable. All right. So right now, this is what you look like. You look like a deceptive clone. Okay. Why do I say it's deceptive? Because I mean, they don't know you. They're just logging into their Gmail or their Yahoo or their Outlook or whatever it is they're using. And they see this email subject line about a hey, quick question or some bull crap like that. And then when they open it, it's saying the same thing, making the same promises as everybody else that's purchasing these cold email outreach tools. OK, so you're a deceptive clone because they don't know you. And just based off of them being burned last time they uh, purchased marketing or something, they think you're going to scam them or not really deliver on the results as well. So, you, it, okay. All right. So let's move to the second one. You guys are going to get what I'm talking about in a minute. All right. All right. So here we go. The second problem with traditional code outreach is the psychological effects effects of being ignored. This can weigh down on your brain, guys, and you can't tell me I'm wrong, okay? So you're setting up 15 to 30 domains, custom domains. You're buying multiple email addresses, 
And then you're purchasing the monthly subscription for instantly AI software for outreach. Then you're waiting two to three weeks for them to warm up before you can even send out a few of those emails. So you more than likely haven't even tested your offer to see if it's an irresistible offer with organic traffic first. So you have no idea how it's going to convert. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments, okay? So, right, that's the, the powerful part of having YouTube uh, for your agencies and for your offers. You can test with organic traffic first, but a lot of you guys haven't been taught to do that. They're teaching you wrong, okay? So after sending 3,000 emails, you look at your open rate. It's a high 65% which gets you happy. You got a happy face emoji, but then you check your reply rate and then you automatically get the sad face emoji right here. Okay. So after that, you check your booking calendar with high hopes and your fingers crossed. And then you only have five to 10 booked free discovery calls. You guys love these discovery calls. Okay, so out of that bunch, you only manage to sign one or two because they don't know you. We're going to change all that today. What I'm going to show you in the next couple of minutes, we're going to make it to where they come to you and they love you and they pay you because they know you and it doesn't take all day either. Okay, so check this out. They aren't familiar with your content, brand, or offer. They weren't even aware that their problem was visible to the public until today, so they're not desperate yet. See, these guys, you're fishing downstream. You want to be fishing upstream. These people might know that they have a problem. Like, they know they got a bad reputation and all of that extra stuff, a lot of them. But it's not public to the point to where it's embarrassing, okay? So guess what? So they'll give you their pity money. That little one or two will give you their pity money just to be nice and see what you can do for them. Okay, let's test you out for a month, buddy. Let, let's see what your agency can do because you made this good offer. Okay, so this is how they view you. <laughs> You're not like the boss of this relationship. You think you are just because you got the little payment and you went to YouTube and uploaded a video of you getting your first payment and stuff. But this is how they view you. Like, all right, here, 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 dude, dang. Okay, <laughs> now the third and worst problem the third and worst problem is that you're giving up your authority and leverage with cold outreach the traditional way. Now, I keep saying traditional way because we do uh, talk about cold outreach, okay? All right, but we don't do cold outreach. We don't do paid ads for customers or clients. The only time we'll do cold outreach the way that you guys do it or paid ads the way that you guys do it if we don't have anything to sell, if it's just for brand visibility, if it's just for partnerships or something like that, but for transactional value, we don't do cold outreach for that, all right? They got too many damn questions. I ain't got time for it, all right? So check this out. You approach them with the offer, not the other way around. Even though they have a pain point or a problem that needs fixing, they did not come to you or even ask for your help, did they? So for example, I'm going to give you guys a super relatable uh, uh, example, okay? So watch this. You've been chasing a sexy girl that doesn't know you very well all school year, okay? You finally jump in front of her or stalk her enough to get her attention. This is you guys sending out your cold emails. You finally blast them enough to get them to open a few, okay? Then you beg her to go out with you, promising that you'll be the best boyfriend that she's ever had. That's you talking about, hey, those other agencies was this and that and this, but if you give us just this first, first month tryout, we're going to do this and do that, okay? So out of pity and seeing how hard you pursued her, she agrees to go out with you. That's them accepting your trial offer or some crap like that or saying, okay, I'll pay you for the first three months just to see if we get some leads. All right, so two weeks later, you find out she's still seeing the popular guy on the football team. So that's them still keeping contacts with whatever agency they were dealing with before that they actually know and trust and stuff, right? But they gave you a little test because you just kept on bothering them. So you confront her, then guess what she's going to do? She's going to cut you loose, okay? Why? 
because you approached her, which gives her the authority in a relationship. All right. She sees it as if you need her. And this is why you get all of that high churn in your agencies. Tell me I'm lying because all you guys try to do is get to $50,000 a month, $100,000 a month, and then you immediately sell your agencies because you can't deal with it. Okay. Now check this out. She keeps him around. Why? Because she pursued him. He's the popular guy that all the other girls want to date. You are not the popular guy if you've been pursuing her the same way the simpy geeks in the school do. Okay, no offense, but the simpy geeks is just scraping emails or buying email lists and SMS lists and then just sending out offers, programming offers and stuff and instantly in all of these code email softwares to try to get... Uh, discovery calls and strategy calls sit on there with them for 30 minutes for free dog if you guys are gonna do that stuff y'all need to start charging to sit on a strategy call with you position yourself as the authority all right um um our service costs five thousand dollars a month right but if you're going to get on this call with us and we're going to like actually reveal our strategies to you with our competition being out there, it's going to be $100 for this discovery call. That's what the hell I would be doing, but I wouldn't even be doing that. What you guys should be doing is taking hints from the affiliates and bringing these people to webinars. Why are you doing one-on-one -on -one discovery calls? Anyway, let's move on because like now I'm getting all off task. All right, so where do you go from here? What should you do? Step one, cancel this crap. <laughs> cancel these different softwares and stuff. Unless you're doing like crazy branding campaigns like a McDonald's, Coca-Cola and all of that just to be seen, right? If you're trying to do transactional uh, um, you know, relationships and stuff with businesses, then you don't need this stuff. Like, dog, you, I, I just released a video talking about how you can send out 10 emails that are extremely personalized versus a thousand emails. So if you know that you can send out 10 emails, why the hell would you need a blasting software? Okay, so get rid of the bull crap. All right, now for the first two skills that I promised you master by the end of the video. Here we go. The first one is the red carpet method, guys. This method is fishing with bait, so to speak. So why am I talking about that? Because all y'all think y'all got bait already. You think your bait is your offer. Your bait is not your offer. Sorry, that is not your offer. Okay. Another disadvantage of traditional cold outreach is that you're simply throwing out your line into the ocean, hoping, crossing fingers that a stupid or, or curious fish just bites on the naked hook. When you send out a cold email talking about the issue and how you want to get on the call, the hook is naked. The hook is naked. You understand what I'm saying? Like they don't care. They don't care. All right. So sometimes it occurs where you might just get somebody that's like, okay, all right, let's, let's just see what this person's talking about. And that goes to that bunch that's that's already educated. Maybe they've already been watching YouTube videos and already aware that they have problems and stuff and they're desperate and stuff. That's them that'll get on the, the hook, okay? Without the bait. But you're going to find it difficult to fill the boat with delicious mahi-mahi. Now, I'm originally from Honolulu, Hawaii. And if you guys know anything about mahi-mahi fish, it's super delicioso. It's kind of like a steak texture. It's super thick and delicious, man. Mahi-mahi is good. Try it out if you haven't, right? So <laughs> those will be your gigantic, uh, in quotes, clients. You understand? The high pan, juicy ones. But we get partners, okay? And you're not getting the mahi-mahi without bait. You're not just throwing your hook or your email in there. OK, you have to have good bait on the line. OK, with local businesses, this bait comes in the form of leads or sales up front. OK, jump to the good part of the movie. You understand what I'm saying? Like nobody want to watch the credits uh, at the beginning or the end of the movie. Nobody really cares about the origin story for real until they already seen Wolverine slice some people. So jump. <laughs> 
<laughs> we don't care about how you got the animanium and all of that until we see how strong the animanium is and how it can slice through people and concrete and all of that. So this is what you want. They want leads and they want sales mainly. So if you can find a cost-effective slash free way in which we teach you inside agency to partner, we teach you a free way of sending them what they need up front, okay? And you put a tag on it. So when you send this bait, you put a tag on it. A tag meaning they can trace it back to you. Maybe they say, maybe when they get a phone call, it says, this is a call from um, Profit Position and Agency or David or Anti-Job University or Yaz Real. So after a week of getting all these calls that actually convert to clients and they're constantly hearing, David sent you this, David sent you this, David sent you this. They never even met me before. They're like, who the hell is David? Okay, so it does a few things in the prospect's mind. It makes them curious enough to want to seek you out on their own Plus, it trains them indoctrination, baby, okay? It trains them on first impression that you are a, def a, a dependable food source, instantly eliminating all skepticism before even speaking with you, okay? You are the food source. You're the watering hole. Guess what? Have you ever watched uh, the Animal Planet or any of those nature videos where everybody goes to the water hole because they got a drink? The predators and the prey are there. Do you understand that the zebras know that it's a chance if I go down to this water hole to get some water, <laughs> I might die. You understand what I'm saying? And they go anyway, taking their pups and their 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 little cows and all of these different little babies and stuff down there. They go anyway. You want to be this dependable source and you're training them on first impression when you give them what they want right off the bat. No need for testimonials, case studies, all of that stuff when they just get it. You understand what I'm saying? So check this out. And like I said before, for those of you thinking, man, I don't have no budget to send no leads and no jobs up front. We have free ways of doing this inside the agency to partner program. So check this out. You've now become the popular football player guy that all the girls now want to pursue. And that's why we call it the red carpet method because you're sending this bait anonymously. And by the time you do present yourself to them, they're already expecting you by name. And you get the best damn treatment ever. I, I promise you that. Like we've been treated like kings and queens when we do this method, okay? So this is how the partners treat you. You understand? When I went to St. Louis for my first deal, like dog, they brought out all food for us. They was like treating us, giving us the best of everything just so we can have a good impression of them since we were gonna be doing the marketing and everything. All free food we was able to take home to our kids and all type of stuff. Anyway, I'm greedy. All right, so check this out. The second method is the expose method, which is pretty much, I don't know, man, both of these methods, I, I can't pick a favorite, man. I can't pick a favorite. But look, this method we modeled from the world of journalism, which is genius, okay? When a newspaper, blog, or journalist is attempting to get a direct response from a public figure that they personally, they can't personally reach, let me put that in there, that they can't personally reach because guess what guess what you got when you trying to uh, sign a plumber or some type of business or something that's local they usually have what's called a gatekeeper and you're trying to figure out these strategic ways of getting past the gatekeeper to talk to the business owner even though the business owner still might tell you no okay so look they do this in the newspaper world to get in a, a direct response to the public figures they can't personally get in contact with. They do an expose on that figure, okay? This forces them into the light to engage or defend themselves. Now, of course, we're not gonna be doing any slander or anything like that or nothing, but we're still gonna force them into the light. In the agency to partner program, we perfected a way to use this strategy to publicly attract our dream partners which you guys call clients, to us already educated on the opportunity and ready to do business with us. And yes, we know it's pretty genius. So we teach you to do this on platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, 
and even YouTube, okay? Now, this is how an expose works, okay? So exposés attract money straight to you. <laughs> As you can see, and you probably can tell, this is Instagram. Uh, a while back when I was living in Mexico, I simply found a realtor named Iris that was already running ads on Google and on Zillow, and I saw her problems, and I made those problems public because I didn't feel like emailing her or cold calling her. And there's a way that we cast a wide net doing this method so that not just Iris can see this, but all of Iris's closest friends, her distant followers, and yes, even her competitors could see this expose. So what does that mean? Either she's going to hit me back or her competitors are going to hit me back. And I don't even have to reach out to her personally because her closest friends and followers are going to tag her into the post saying, hey, did you see what this dude said about you? And boom, it results in payments, baby. All right, so let's move on. How can you trust uh, so-called gurus that aren't making money themselves? A lot of you guys just watch YouTube videos and you will sign up to programs and courses and ebooks and backpacks and all that bull crap stuff that and you don't even have like full like proof that the person you're learning from knows what they're doing. They just copy the trend, saw something was gonna get views, and then uh made a video and then you guys watched it and boom, you pay them. Well, I've been around since 2015 on this channel and consistently when all of the other gurus disappear, I've been making money. Uh, and these are just little tiny payments, monthly payments that come in completely hands off from our partners. Yes, this is Navy Federal, real bank statements. You understand what I'm saying? That come in from our partners. So now, okay, now what is the path to take for you to get this opportunity to save your agency. And when I say these payments are hands off, I'm talking about partnership agreement payments. I'm not talking about sales. I'm not talking about like all the other things that we do. These are like, if I don't touch it, it's still coming in every single month, leveraging the work brands and efforts of the local business partners that we have, their traffic, their partnerships and connections and stuff like that. Okay, now move on. All right. So what you want to do is go to the first pinned comment. It's going to bring you to the agency to partner program where we show you how without even adding new clients, you don't even have to add anybody new. If you already have a client, we show you how to convert them into a partner. And by doing this, you can get equity benefits and their companies without even investing cash into them. Just leveraging your own separate marketing skills that you came with. We show you how to plug in 10 different monetization methods that automatically start bringing you money as soon as they're set up properly, okay? We showed you the testimonials. Stop watching testimonials become one. We showed you me making money. We showed you how this worked. We've answered all of the the questions, the Q&A, cured all skepticisms and insecurities. Guys, go ahead and make a move. Get this done for yourself right now.